Hello and welcome again to River Valley Farm. Um, we got a couple things going on today. One is this uh, squirrel cage. It's going in that. And the other thing, if I could find any light, is I got my soil test results back. Okay. Um, so we'll go over that paper there in just a second once I find something to point with. I think this here dude, that will be a good pointer. Looks like it to me anyway. So, nine. Now, hopefully, y'all be able to see this, but anyway, whether you can or not, I don't know, so we're going to do it anyway. Um, so, my soil samples came back, and they really went lighter on the lime than I thought they were going to. Um, my local ag agent is knowledgeable, been doing this a long time. Uh, this lime estimate that the the uk lab put on was uh for like the best possible lime you can get okay so he recommends that we do three tons to acre because you know um we have a limestone mine like four miles from this field maybe five okay it doesn't produce the greatest lime in the world but it's lime so you know he says put it on at this rate but anyway so just to cover what we're looking at here, um, phosphorus, and I showed a 48, which is medium, potash, 267, which is medium, so not bad there. Soil pH, not as low as I was expecting, but a 5.9, that's not really that good. Uh, the water, buffer water that they used was a 6.6. .6. Um, I'm a calcium as at uh, uh, 47.88 or 4788. Uh, it doesn't really give a spec on that. Magnesium is in the high range at 458. Okay, zinc is 3.1. Doesn't really give a spec for that either. <laughs> Whoa. That was a little rough. Anyway, so gonna put it into alfalfa grass it's a new seeding primary use hay cool season grass previous crop it was weeds it was weeds so whatever um previous management hay or pasture yeah and then use before that the last thing it was used for was a tobacco field so anyway pertinent information tells me i need 30 units of nitrogen per acre 40 units of phosphorus and uh, 170 units of potash per acre. Okay. So um, I called my local fertilizer dealer and um, let's see. They won't, they won't bring anything, they won't deliver anything other, uh, less than 10 tons of lime. Uh, 10 tons of lime from them, which is spread out of a truck on your field at your convenience is $270. So they charge you $27 a ton to spread lime. Okay, now uh, for them to spread the fertilizer that I need um, would be, four hundred and eighty dollars with tax okay and then if i rent the buggy have them load it with the fertilizer that's three hundred and eighty five dollars with tax okay so then i have uh ninety nine dollars for alfalfa seed 139 dollars for orchard grass seed and then this would be a local guy that could run and get me lime and then uh which would be 725 dollars 724.99 so i just called it seven uh 25 for getting lime from him and then uh if southern if my local ag supplier was to bring me lime 
my total bill for putting in a three acre alfalfa orchard grass hay field would be $894.99. I shouldn't say that's the total either because I still need oats or rye grass or something, but I want, I don't really want rye grass because the only rye grass seed I can find is perennial rye grass, which means it comes back every year. So I guess I would want rye, but anyway. Um, so yeah, now we know what my soil tests come back at anyway. So now on to the next part of this video. Um, this, this thing right here, okay. Um, I remember, I don't know if you remember or not, but anyway, if you followed that video, uh, I said I felt like I thought I had a mouse nest in there in the HVAC duct work. Well, I dug in and took it apart and pulled the mouse nest out. And of course, the only access to get to it so you can pull the mouse nest out was through the uh, blower motor. So, when I got to looking at the blower motor, I realized that not only did the mouse build a nest in there, it chewed up the plastic uh, <laughs> um, squirrel fan, squirrel cage fan. So, I made a stop by my local Napa today and picked up a new, uh, they claim it's a universal. I don't know whether it is, what it is, what it isn't, but they claim it's a universal uh, squirrel cage, so hopefully it'll fit. If not, I'm gonna be kind of upset with those guys and have to take it back down there and yell at them. But anyway, beside the point. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Next step on my list is I gotta pull that blower motor out, which uh, requires me to take this washer fluid bottle out, get that out of the way. Um, pretty simple to do. There's two 10 millimeter nuts, one on each side of it. And then that thing will move up out of the way far enough you can get to it. And then two or four, four, I think, five sixteenths or eight millimeter bolts will take the blower motor out of the housing here. And then we can see what it's gonna to take to put a new fan on it. I didn't really look at it that close. But anyway, that's what I'm up to now. So bear with me while I take this apart. So anyway, here is our extracted blower motor. And hopefully that's showing up on camera. But you can see, well, here. That's what it's supposed to look like right there, okay? And then find the bad spot there's your mouse damage little assholes anyway uh, yeah if you hadn't noticed guys I really don't care what YouTube's language restrictions are I'm here just to be here more or less I don't care if I get paid or not so uh, anyway um, now we gotta get this little clip gadget off of here, which before I do anything else, uh, oh yeah, it's over here now, that's right. <clears throat> I'll put some good old croil on here, see what happens. See if that makes it better or worse or what. Can't hurt anything, All right? Of course it might hurt something too it might make it too slick and i can't get it off of there but anyway we're gonna try it and see so while we're letting that soak a minute um our new squirrel fan that is uh all nice and galvanized steel here i wonder why they didn't use one of these from the factory probably because the mouse wouldn't have been able to chew it up and make me buy another one but anyway so it slips over the shaft and then you can see let me set this down so my shakes don't get you too bad it's got a set screw right here and i don't know if you can see it in there or not but it's a little allen head set screw you reach through one of these and get to tighten it up onto your blower motor shaft so anyway let me uh pry that out of there see what happens All right, so that came off of there pretty easy. Um, I just, uh, you know, not, you know, you're a mechanic, you're not supposed to use a claw hammer, but anyway, 
stuck the claw hammer under there and pried on it a couple of times and it cracked the center and it came off so hey that's good we didn't care about that piece anyway next up we get to put this one on maybe 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 Hmm. This may be more difficult. Anyway, um, I'll outline the force needed when I get done, I guess. Or, well, you know what? I own that damn tripod. Maybe I should use it, huh? Let's try that. Alright, so first things first, I guess let's back this screw off. There would appear to be some little pieces of something or other that have peeled off the inside in there. That's not good at all. Um, hmm. See, this is why I don't use a tripod, because I'll walk away from it for an hour while I'm, not, while I'm looking for something. But anyway. Let's see. A little tap there. Maybe that'll help, huh? Can't hurt, right? Maybe. Either that I'm going to ruin my bar motor. Which one or the other is going to happen here, right? Uh, of course, it's got to go down there a little bit farther than that yet. So, of course, a light might help too. So far, so good, looks like. Just needs to get down on there a little farther. So, uh, I need a punch of some sort. Or something like a punch, anyway. Uh, that bolt will probably do the trick. See what happens here. Oh, there's Turd. What are you doing? Oh, I gotta tell you something. What do you gotta tell me? Cook on the grill. That would be better. You think I should cook on the grill, huh? We're cooking hot dogs. Cooking hot dogs? Mm-hmm. And I want them pork. I thought we had pork chops laid out, not hot dogs. Can have pork chops with the hot dogs. We can have pork chops with the hot dogs. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I hope y'all are hearing this. Pork chops with hot dogs. Yeah. If I'm gonna start the grill, if I'm gonna build a fire in the grill, I'm gonna cook them with. Uh, uh, I'm gonna cook pork chops on the grill. Hey. Okay. You don't care. I'm not gonna waste my grill on hot dogs when there's not 20 kids here. Hey. So I will come in and cook when I'm done. All right. Hey. No. Yeah. Can we please cook with the grill? No, I'm not cooking with the grill. I'm trying to do something here. Okay, so give me a minute. Okay. okay. Alright. You go away and give me a minute while I finish up what I'm doing here. Then we'll talk about what we're going to cook and how we're going to do it. Okay? Yeah, don't fall down. That's never good. Yeah. So, I'm changed from a punch to a piece of pipe. We're going to tap this thing. Well, never mind. I guess we won't tap it. It falls down once it gets on there so far. Okay. So, about right there is where it was. And in that case, I need my little iron screw back. Ah. Oh, I'll fix that in a minute. Hey, noisy. What? We're gonna ride, go outside and ride. I need to tell you something. What? Um, well, I'm gonna tell you. When I was rushing to get to the gate to start the race, I fell down. That's when I fell down. 
You fell down when you went to the gate to start the race? Huh? Oh, I fell all right, down then. in the middle of the driveway. Jeez. Okay, then. <sighs> You'll have that sometimes, I suppose. Yeah, yeah you, you will. This knee. You hurt that knee? Yes. Okay, then. Turned this death out of it. You'll have that. It hurt the death out of that thing. And it hurt the what out of it? The death. The death out of it? Okay. Well, that's good. It won't die if it hurts the death out of it, right? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Five-year-olds are interesting sometimes. All right. So, we've got our... Uh, yeah. Blower motor and squirrel cage all put back together. Set screws in there and tight. So, now i got to put it... Actually, I'm not going to put it back down in there. I'm just going to hook up to the electrical part of it and see if it works or not. That'd probably be a good idea. Uh, let me get set up and we'll see what happens here. Okay. That's okay. So, five-year-olds are sometimes very useful. Raylan, yeah. turn the switch to floor. Okay. I'll go turn the other switch up one click. Well, that's more one click, but okay. Now, turn the other one back to off, please. Turn it to off. Thank you. All right, so it works. Yeah, turn it back to off, too. All right, it works. Excellent news. Now, all I got to do is put it back together. Um, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more. And bye. Very good. Three key off. That'll help. Three key off.